All right, guys, Mike here, Affluent Journeys. I'm in Breckenridge, Colorado this week. So I'll be skiing all week here in Breckenridge, maybe uh, some Vail, maybe uh, some Keystone as well. And I made a investment here in some brand new Technica Mach 1 boots, the best boots on the market. I'm still renting skis, but these are the skis I wanted, so luckily they had them. Be sure to like the video, subscribe here, follow Affluent Journeys here on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And I'll be recording on Strava to give me a follow on Strava and some kudos if you see me uh, skiing out here. All right, guys, there's the mountain. 9,600 feet right now, we're going up high. Now we're on uh, Cimarron. It's my uh, second run of the day. Great views of the mountains. I think we're up at about 11,000 feet or so. As you can see, Breckenridge is a huge mountain. The base is 9,600 feet and it goes all the way up to 13,000 feet up here at Peak 8, which is that one right there. Then we got peak nine poking through the trees over there. But it's five peaks, so they go from. We got a big terrain park here. That's all he does. And we got number two coming. Not going very fast. Ooh, and he almost eats it. All right, final run of the day coming down Crystal here. And I'm gonna do one bumps run on grits here. And that's the crystal. I did that actually on the last run. So I think I'll have 11 total runs today. I'll show you the stats at the end for today. Beautiful views. Right, look at this, I got a big, nice apartment. Dishwasher, fridge, stoves, microwaves. I guess thing it's huge. Did you hear all that? So I got this fairly cheap, like 165 a night. I think I have a mountain view there. A little bit, wrong way. Not a great view, but that's not what I'm here for. So this is uh, Main Street in Breckenridge. They got a beautiful town square, just totally lit up. Hi right, guys, welcome to day two. I've made my way over to Keystone here at the uh, main summit. We got one, two, three, summit house, four, five, six lifts and gondolas that all end up right here at the top. So I'm gonna ski today uh, here at Keystone and hope you enjoy it. Let's get rocking. New boots are holding up and it's not totally freezing, so looking forward to it. All right, right now we're coming down Mozart, it comes all down here, it's the intermediate run. We're gonna make our way down further back into the resort. Incidentally, uh, Keystone has a higher base than even Breckenridge. It's over 10,000 feet. 
a lot of fun going over those. Look at all that big, long, bumpy runs there. That's interesting. It's hard to... All right, so we just came up to Santiago and basically we're traversing the resort. We're gonna go down Spillway and all the way up to the outback there at 11,980 feet. Try some skiing here while on video. Look at those views. Red 493 is doing the job, taking the boots. On point. All right, so we made it to the top of the outback. And you can hike up here if you want. A couple people are doing it to do the North Bowls and stuff. But it's really rocky right there. So there's not a whole lot of snow. Okay, see we got some weather coming in and that's Breckenridge over there. And we'll go down this way. Try some three runs. eyeballing me. Alright, so I was trying to look at more blacks, but a lot of it, you're just looking at this, you got trees all the way up through the whole thing there. Wreck is pretty much totally covered now in clouds. So I'm going to make my way back down the bottom, maybe do a couple easy runs and get out of here. There's a 2.30 bus back to Breck, I might take that one. I think they had fires that came through here and knocked down all the trees. We're on the Ruby Express now, heading back to the main area. The uh, pulled pork sandwich uh, was a lot better than what I had at Park City by a long shot. Even though it's the same company and they're sourcing things the same. Came down that whole line there. Don't even know what the name of the run is. There's the main area of Keystone. All right guys, so that is uh, day two at Keystone. As you can see, we got some flurries coming in now. And a big fat crow. Look at that guy. All right, good morning guys. Uh, today is day three back at Breckenridge. It's absolutely freezing it's like minus 15 celsius but we got some snow overnight and so we should have a decent powder day people already on the hill we're gonna get out there and enjoy i got pretty much every layer i can put on today so hopefully i won't freeze to death out there all right now we're in the woods this is called the burn
Uh, this is 12,840 feet. Some rocks if you go that way. I'm gonna try and take the hike up here. 12,998 feet. You guys, we have Carl here from Chicago. What's up? And this is the big bull here that we're gonna try. We could have dropped in over there, but we decided to come around this side. Same difference either way. A couple more brave souls. Look at that guy, he's gonna go right down there. Or maybe he's gonna be a bitch and go back. Look at him, oh, there he goes. Right, we'll videotape this guy for a bit. Look too steep actually. Once he's on it, he's not leaning all the way up on that. Alright, should I try it? Yeah, go for it. Alright. There goes Carl, he's dropping in. Took kind of a high line there. See how he turns here. That's not too bad. All right, I made it down. Hit my ass there right at the top because it was possible to see what was going on. So I'm shaking, I'm freezing. All right, I made it all the way down. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you got a hike out. But I stayed up here along the ridge and came in down that way. So I beat them both. <laughs> and then you gotta get out of here that way. And yeah, I can show super chair now, which is like all the way at the end of the resort. A little sunny side over here. Some people are hiking way up over there. And then they traverse all the way back down there to the other area of the resort. All right, so this is the Kendo Kensho Super Chair. We're gonna go that way, around Wonderland, and then back to the main uh, areas of the property. This area, I think, is called Elysian Fields. And then there's a couple of sharp shoots, but you gotta hike up there probably to get to them. We can't go back all the way around due to avalanche danger. This is a Southern Cross, it's a double black. Great view back into town. This is called uh, Tom's Baby. It is real steep. You can see there. We're on uh, the last day here in Breck. Beautiful. This is the uh, Imperial Lift here. Came yesterday, we did the hike up to the top, which I'm not doing today. We made it all the way around there. And I dropped in 
there, but look, all that snow is gone underneath the main ridge. So we traversed across, and everyone else who did it had a straight down section there. That's where I fell for a little bit. And then made my way down there and around to there. But today we're just gonna go like this. All right, it's just about one o'clock. It might be my last run of the trip here. This is Mustang. You can go down that way, down to that area, and then around to the left. Beautiful day, but really cold. Off we go. So ended up, so ended up sliding on the right side down most of the way, only one or two turns because it was actually pretty icy there. Backcountry checklist, guys. You can die. There's the Appaloosa Bowl and a traverse down there. All right, guys. So that's the end of the fourth day of skiing here, and I uh, had a good time. And today we hit a high of minus 13 Celsius, which is like three or four degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. And so it was a fun day. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to like the video, subscribe here to Affluent Journeys, put your comments down below, and give me a follow on Strava. All my ski runs and stuff are there. Give me some kudos. And don't forget to follow Affluent Journeys on Facebook and Instagram, where I'll be posting you know more pictures and shorts here of my trip. Look at how they got the crepe trolley there. I think I'm gonna have one of those. And then I might jump in the pool here. Look at it, it's steaming. Probably be the only one, huh? All right guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And please stay tuned for the next one.